old record highs. So with this kind of warmth, you'll likely want to spend time outdoors and you might want to spend time in the shorts and with the shirt sleeves, very short, but is your skin sun ready? News 4's Weather Plus forecaster Vanessa Van Cor joins us live at Sparks Marina. Vanessa, are people protecting themselves? Well, Jeff, a common misconception on days like today, when there are clouds in the sky, people think they don't need to wear sunscreen. But actually, 80% of UV rays can penetrate these clouds, so you are still exposing your skin to harmful radiation. Dermatologists recommend avoiding the outdoors between 10 and 2 when the UV rays are the most intense. Dermatologists also say they are seeing more cases of melanoma, the most lethal form of skin cancer among children. Just three or more blistering sunburns during childhood can increase the risk of developing melanoma. We spoke with a dermatologist earlier this afternoon to clear up some sunscreen myths. So they say for an average adult, a 70 kilogram adult, you'd want to use a shot glass full, which is about an ounce. So think about it. That's a lot of sunscreen to use in one application. And you need to reapply every two hours, especially if you're in the water, it comes off. Now, a lot of this advice may seem like common sense, but you would be surprised how many people ignore these simple tips. Coming up tonight on News 4 at 6, we'll tell you how many new cases of skin cancer we could see this year and also introduce you to two local mothers who started their own line of kid-friendly sunscreen. Reporting live at the Sparks Marina, I'm Vanessa Vancor. Joe? All right, good reminder there. Thank you, Vanessa. Could a series of earthquakes be spy the old record? And with all that heat, a lot of folks want to be outdoors. But if you're outdoors, you may not be wearing a whole lot, so you might have a lot of exposed skin. We'll take it out to Vanessa Vancor, and Vanessa's out at Sparks Marina with some information on how maybe you can stay sun safe. Vanessa? Jeff, according to the American Cancer Society, more than one million new cases of skin cancer will be diagnosed in the U.S. this year alone. And as we learned earlier today, this can all easily be avoided by following just a few simple tips. With over 300 days of sunshine in Nevada, children are especially at risk for seriously damaging their skin. Dermatologists say an SPF of at least 30 is a good start, but it isn't as effective if you aren't constantly reapplying. Apply 30 minutes before you're going to go out and really reapply, especially if you're going to be in the water. And making sunscreen a part of the daily routine is probably the hardest thing for most people. It's right there on the counter. Just didn't bring it today. But um, yeah, it's going to be pretty much a regular thing from here on out. Getting kids to remember to wear sunscreen or even like it can be tough. So two local mothers recently launched their own line of kid-friendly sunblock. We wanted to provide a sunscreen that kids and teens actually want to put on their skin. Screen Inc. is approved by the Skin Cancer Foundation. Neil says in the last year while developing their product, the FDA released new guidelines for sunscreen companies. So that you can only promote your product as water resistant or sweat resistant and that you do need to apply every two hours. Even if it's cloudy outside. More common actually to get sunburn on those cloudy days than when the sun is blazing because people forget to put on their hat and their sunscreen, their sunglasses. Dr. I reminds everyone, especially parents, that as we near record temperatures this weekend, sunscreen alone isn't enough. You must also include protective clothing. We're going to go to Wild Island Saturday and we're going to use waterproof sunscreen and we use rash guard swimming suits so that it protects the shoulders and the arms a little bit more. Now, dermatologists recommend when you are shopping for sunscreen, look for both UVA and UVB protection and also that it contains some zinc oxide. This bottle here contains about 4%. Also very important is that most sunscreen bottles don't usually have a printed expiration date, so they're usually only good for one season. This three ounce bottle right here says it expires April of 2010, but even still, if you use this as recommended every day, you should go through these, a few of these, every season. Reporting live at the Sparks Marina, Vanessa Van Cor, News 4, back to you in the studio. All right, thanks Vanessa, and families won't be the only ones hanging around outside this summer. Mosquito